Hello and welcome. It's another day to talk football. This is Monday Football Digest. It is the international break and um, of course, you know how boring it is when our favorite clubs are not playing. So, of course, um, there are a lot of, there's been a lot of um, stories, a lot of um, negative and positive stories coming from the international break, the injuries, the, um, you know, with the Super Eagles too, with whatever is going on with them and Libya. As it stands, according to um, the time of making this video, no statement has um, been made by CAF. As regards, you uh, know, the treatment being meted out um, to the Super Eagles by the Libyan um, authorities. So we, 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 we are hearing that um, they want to boycott that. Or they want to boycott that, um, which um, rightly so, rightly so. I think they should boycott it because you can't go on, go through this kind of treatment and uh, still want to play football. It um, takes a toll on you mentally and then, you know, physically. So uh, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be um, bringing you stories as, um, as it concerns that one. Um, but yes, like we said, bad news, bad news coming from, the, uh, from you know, international break concerning injuries. To certain key players of certain um certain clubs um but before that um i'm here with destiny like um we announced last time destiny just um graduated um, just signed out not graduated yet we'll never know that and get for carryovers <laughs> no <laughs> so he just signed out of uh Imo stage university and then congratulations to him we celebrated you last time you know you celebrated celebrated you last time so um yes yeah, so, me, me send me money to OP, the all right, OP. so we celebrate we so he's here he's here and then we'll be talking international break we're talking super Eagles, talking club football talking talking um uh, coming down to the MPFO, we're talking of all of those things um, as the show goes on. So, Destiny, let's start from the Super Eagles of Nigeria because that is the pressing issue right now. Let's start from the Super, Super Eagles of Nigeria. What do you think is going on? Like, what do you think is going on? Can somebody say village people? <laughs> um, okay, what is going on is what we call village people. Uh, the sister of the forefather that is sitting on us. <laughs> <laughs> Which village forefather? Uh, oh my god it is that, uh, it's so appalling and alarming that football according to let me borrow a word from talks in football fan strike it's so alarming and disturbing that football that football that's supposed to be something that will bring two countries together as one is now like a battle that like seen as if it's a generational battle from uh, the ancestors because I can't see the reason why, first of all, um, a country is uh, is making a journey to your country to play a match against your country. And you now want to make it the condition, in, the, you now want to make it unconducive for the opponent to come to your country. It's, it's not right. And uh, I'm partial to blame the our own uh, football NFL. governing body, that is the NFF, for first of all, According to KDC, he said that why would they uh, why would they allow those guys to make that decision by themselves? Because it's just like a setup. I'm telling you how to do this, and you are still allowing me to do that that same thing. It's not true, right? Because we all know, we as a uh, hosting nation, we know that we know we're supposed to know our security strength. We're not supposed to allow those guys to come on their own. So I feel that what they are trying to do against Nigeria now, though it's not right, but I feel that they are trying to do what Nigeria did to them against us what nigeria did to them is um according to it's it's still an accusation they've not come out openly to say the nff put out a statement that they provided they said they said on monday the nff said, said on monday he called the libyan um, you know fa to say okay how are you making your your travel plans what is your plan your plans they said we will let you know we'll let you know no he said on, i think it was on saturday he said it then on monday he called again to say what's up nothing he said nothing has been they didn't say anything and then um, they got a, 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 a call on when is it that they are, they, are, they are on their way. As in, they are already on their way. That's on their own. They are already, they are already on the plane already. And then, uh, he, he, the, the, okay, so okay, come to you. You're supposed to land in you. You're supposed to land in you. And then um, if, um, according to what they said, they said um, they didn't want to go to you. They decided to land in Portacourt. Okay, look, look for a connecting flight in Portacourt. Come to you because that is where all the arrangements have been made. That is where all the arrangement has been made for you to, you know, to to land. To land, so, you know. And then they said no. They will come, they will, they will make their own, they will make their own arrangements. They want to come, they make their arrangements. And then they okay, allowed them to make their own arrangements. And then they traveled the way they they, they look for their own bus. They sorted their own transportation. Look for so, so if what the NFL is saying is true, that means I don't see why they should be retaliating. No, these guys have not, like I said, the only, it's only their captain that came out to say this, that they, they were badly treated. They did not say that, they did not counter the fact that the NFF said 
you guys called us only one hour to your landing. You guys said this. You guys, they, many things were stated. You, they did not count any of those things. They only said they were treated badly, and that was at the airport. They, their complaint started from the airport. So, until I, I feel like if they don't counter these things, then the NFF has not done anything wrong. Now, let's leave us what the NFF has done because it's, it's the old iteration we're talking about. I said off air that, I said off air that they, they, they delayed you for four hours, according to you. They delayed you for four hours the, at the airport. They delayed you for four hours at the airport. You brought them to your own country in the night and kept them for 10 good hours, 10 plus, not even 10, 10 plus hours in one position. Athletes, footballers, professionals. You kept them in one spot for 10 plus hours. People's crush. <laughs> so, it, 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 it's like, like I said, I said, if I slap you, destiny. Hmm? It's yeah. I expect you to slap me. Okay. Try to slap me back, or at least. If I slap you and you cut, and you cut my head, you cut last. You, 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 you don't, you've, you've, over, you've overreacted. So, this is, this is overreaction from the, I don't know what they're trying to prove. From, you know, from, 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 uh, they, 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 they were looking, they, they started looking for trouble from the, from the moment that they, they it was kicked you know, off from that, uh, that game in the, in New York. No, delay, all the delay tactics and uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, left for me, if you watch the game well, you see that the ball reached the goalkeeper's leg. Papa release ball on time. Mm. The goalkeeper will be like, you look, you stretch leg, you pause. Stretch leg three times, you will pause. Mm. And I'll be like, you guys are coming to play, but it's full night team and it's common. Even if you want to start packing the bus, you cannot start packing the bus at the zero, 0 0.1 minutes. <laughs> at least you want to start packing bus, second half. Or let's say almost end of first half, you start packing your bus. But 0 0.1 minutes, you start packing bus. I'll not be like, is it football they want to play? I, that what I'm saying, I want to watch it, but I was like, this is what's called dark art. It's not the one that Arsenal played. This is the main dark art. <laughs> yeah, the dark yeah. So, this is the main dark so art. So, my, 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 I, I, this, I, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, actually disgraceful. And the fact that Calf, according to us, as, as the time of this video, the Calf has not made any statement. As at, let's look at the time so that we would not be wrong yeah. about this. This is, this is as at 12 o'clock, Calf has not made any statement concerning, as at 12 o'clock, um, today is Monday, Monday morning. Calf has not made any statement as regards this issue. It's like everybody's just quiet about it. Uh, the whole thing is that these guys are, uh, you, they, do, uh, do me a do, you do me a do, but it doesn't make sense if this is the way you want to be reacting. It doesn't make sense. And this same, Libya, this, open, open, open. Open. this same Libya guys, they've done it to Imba. This same Libya authorities, they've done it to Imba. Imba was going there to play, um, you know, one of these, um, international yeah, and, and then they kept them 24 hours in the airport, or the airport. So yeah, they are known for this. They are known for this. I will not throw away the fact that other complaints have come up from the Nigerian um, point to uh, the South Africa complain about um, the treatment they received from um, the NFL when they came to Nigeria to play one of the qualifying matches. So this is an African thing. But the one Libya are doing now, it's I think it's just too much. That's just my own history. I'm not saying that um, the NFF is um, uh, you know free from all any accusation, but I think this is an African thing. But these guys right now they are overdoing the whole thing. Quickly, just and, let me just, and, and again, he's so appointed that calf because calf have not acted on it soonest. Because even before we made, before our our brothers made that journey to the, the northern part of Africa, mm. that is Libya, a blogger came out saying what yeah, they would do. They would do it, and that is that is where it's crazy. And that is what, 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 what when they say they want to do something. God knows me. He takes the grace of God for you to survive. That they are going to do. One day they will do it. They will do it, and and they did it. Sorry, they are they, they are doing it, and they are they are doing it. They are doing, they are doing it. it. As of now, they've not the super eagles. The super eagles now. The airport. They are still at the airport. I saw our brother Boniface, the meme lord, asking them, "Why do you leave us at the airport stranded?" The guy was laughing at them. You know, it's it's, it's so appalling because these are human beings. This is a yeah. this these are human beings. They have they have emotions yeah. and yeah. And well, it's so appalling. Well, it's let's, so appalling. Uh, let's just hope that um, the, the, the calf, of course, calf um, does something about this whole thing because it's it's crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. So we'll do, we'll do uh, of course, we'll do a preview. Uh, whether or not, uh, according to the report, they said that they would not play the match. According to the NFL, they are looking to boycott it, according to reports. So we'll do a review. If they don't play it, we'll wait for <laughs> the day they'll play. But we'll do a review about um, the Super Eagles, um, the Libya versus um, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, um, AFCON qualifiers. If we win this game, we are true. To the Afcon, automatically we are true to the Afcon. We don't even need to play the last game. Yes, we are true to the Afcon, and then um, to be at least a very good thing because we know we are known for carrying calculators at the end of uh, the day. 
So this is this mind is. Uh, you, I you doing Afcon. I I, I showed you the calculator I bought now. Yes, now very. <laughs> I bought new calculator for Afcon. It's just that Nigeria just mm, on us movie by saying they will play well. Mm. I bought so, new calculator. So so um let's 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 look at um, let's look at it. From all indications, um, we are looking at a very tough game, a very violent, in quotes, violent, uh, you know, setup. The, the Libyan, the Libyans, of course, um, these are these are their local players. There's no internet. There's no like. Uh, uh, yeah. So these are local players, and we know how physical they can get, and they are playing in the home soil, and then um, we know sometimes all this talk of home advantage coming up. Although the referee that um, officiated in, did not give us the in quotes the home advantage where they, they, they all talk about but how should the super eagles approach this kind of game like how should they how should they approach this kind of games um like this now they need to approach this game with a higher intensity why do i should say they should do their own dark arts no first of all nigeria is not known for defending full light really. that's the funniest thing nigeria it is nigeria's are not, not do that known eh? do that at the afcon uh, our tactics at the Afcon was <laughs> that was under who? Peseiro. Eguavo is not known for that. Go ahead, go ahead. So what I need Nigeria to do is, uh, funny enough, Osima is not still fit for the game. But what I want Nigeria to do is that, you see these guys, play them, play them ball, finish their life career. You understand? If it's violence, now the Nigerians over there. And I just hope this thing gets to you guys. And just about it, I'm advising you guys, please. All you're doing is no come aside. You get why? Because I feel that this thing is if they lose the match, it's going to it might, it might get it might get very if if Nigeria very, lose the game, it might be peaceful. But if Libya lose that game, Nigerians over there will, 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 will hear it. That's why those of us that are going there for nanny work. <laughs> yes, so I'm advising Nigerians over there to be at peace with all men, respect yourself and not come out. If you come outside, try and disguise. So they don't go to recognize you. Yes, yes. So but the approach for the team, they need to come in a very good approach that they will need to play these guys football. And the way I'm looking at it, they need to play this game in neutral ground. Because I can't see Nigerian playing it at that home soil. They need to play it at the neutral ground for a balanced football. That is my own take. Well, uh, um, are you talking about the neutral ground. I, I think um, it, it will be wise. So, I, so, so many persons are asking the question, why are we having a football match in a war torn zone? Libya are currently at war. Yeah. They have so many governments there. Since Gaddafi left. I, Libya I, have, have so many since, governments. It's since, not just one. They don't have just one president. Since Gaddafi left Libya, let me be honest with you, Libya have no, no peace. Since we, Gaddafi that is, died. That is, that is, that is what we know. Libya you know have no, no peace. And, Libya, have, and it's not sharp. And so I think, um, I think um, it, it would be nice. It would be very, um, very... I don't know, very wise if the NFF should um, file um, for uh, for that match to be played in another in another country. Yes. In, on in Nigeria ground, because as it stands now, um, there are all indications that things might get bad. Things might get bad. These guys, they will say, what do we have to lose? We are already at war. You ban us for football, eh? Whatever. Mm -hmm. So they so they have they have they have nothing to lose. It's us that have everything to lose. Yes. In this matter. So I think um, they should um, find a way to instead of uh, apart from boycotting, they should find a way to say, let's play this game. In a neutral ground, we cannot go somewhere, and I expect a sanction, a very strong sanction from the NFF on Libya. We, are, we everybody's expecting it. There's nothing, uh, um, uh, there's nothing more satisfying than to see these guys um, get, um, you know, point deductions or get, um, uh, you know, fines or get um, whatever. So I think that is what should happen. And so I, um, and I'm hearing that it, it it went for I think almost half a day without food and. No Thirteen hours. Thirteen hours, hours without food and no Wi-Fi, which is appalling. Very poor. Very so, poor. So, like, we like um, um well, Nigerian fans would like to like to hear your thoughts on this one. And uh, let's know uh, what you think about um, this whole issue. What are your thoughts on this whole issue? I know everybody's very upset. Everybody's angry. Let's hear your thoughts on this one, and then uh, um, let the conversation continues. Uh, continue. Um, let's talk about um, what's going. What um, the whole sad news coming from um, international football with um, injuries, injuries. Many players yeah, before yeah. the international break complained about too many schedules too many futures and then again it went from that to many play many many clubs pulling their players out of you know Vinicius coming with the whole shoulder shoulder pain um, which other player again pulled out of the same Kaiva did not go said an injury um Pate did not go because he said he was sick all of this news coming up we've seen many other top clubs pulling out their players for one excuse or the other, other. the weekend is going to come and they are going to play we know they are going yes. to play Mbappe, they're going yes. to play so 
uh, Mbappe has already even said himself, openly said it that he has told the France and football that he would not be playing some irrelevant games. Some irrelevant games. So he would not be we're cutting off uh, he said he want, because he wants to win the ballon d'Or. He wants to focus on club football and then win the ballon d'Or. I which I think um, he should that shouldn't be coming from a, from a player. This your country made you who you are today. There's no matter how you look at it. But I think um we are seeing we are seeing that we are seeing we are we are, we are in a situation where club allegiance is greater than country. country's allegiance. And I think um I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know what to say concerning this kind of thing. I don't know what to now, say. Now, now. Uh, but um, let's talk about this. Talk about this since. Do, do are we going to see more of this as time goes on? Because it's going from top players. Are we going to see maybe just normal players pulling out of? Um, the thing is that let me be honest with you. If a top player is pulling out of a national team, and you that have not reached that level, mm. you have to follow him and pull out. I mm. feel that you are very stupid. In the sense that now. This top player is the person that you are looking up to that you should bench for you to play. And at the long run, you're not following him. You're stupid, though. Sorry to say this, but if that player is any player that is that indulging that, following a top player, you that have not reached anywhere, you might have money, but you that have not reached anywhere in the level of that player and do this activity that is doing, you have them stupid. Yeah, because that's why I see, I see, say this thing. kudos to Sebastian Haller. I don't know which club is he when he was in West Ham and when he was in Dortmund. I don't know, but a, a, they asked me this question. I don't know who asked which it, which country it was. They say we favor. We, is it that they asked him that something concerning this club football and national? He say he will boycott the club football and play for his country. Yeah, many players. He said that he said that he said that because it's the country that give birth to him, it's the country that bring him out. But this, the thing is that some coaches. Some coaches in the national team don't know how to take and regulate, manage, manage, manage their players. They, that's why I like um, there was this coach that started uh, a different team this game and changed again. The next game, a different, totally different team entirely. Yeah, I've forgotten the coach that did that. In Africa? No, no, it's in Europe. It's in Europe. Yeah. It's in Europe. Because you know that these players are very important to their club. So, and they will still need them hell and hearty for other competitions. So, he has to do that. He called a amount of squad and give everybody regular playing time. This one will not play for five minutes. You bench the other one. That's what he's doing. Next game, you start a new team. So, that was, me, I'm happy that some teams draw, drew their player out in the sense that because of this injury crisis. Too many games. Yeah, too many games. And, like and I'm happy for my star boy, Kopama. <laughs> Kopama, you know, at least he played. Though the position he played, was the kind of position that he has to hit one or two, but he came out injury free. Mm. And my players that are coming out injury free from the international break, I'm happy. We're, not talking, about, we're not talking about your Chelsea. Calm down. So let's I love what let's I love what Asana did. Let's calm down first. Calm down. Let's I love what I love what Saka did by pulling out early because if you feel that I see that Saka might be injured. All of this stuff. So Saka is not injured. I feel Saka is not injured. Saka might be very injured. So that might be injured. Let's just see. Let's just hope. Let's just hope um, he's not injured for the sake of. I feel he's not injured. For the sake of the Premier, let's just hope he's not injured. But I, I feel Saka might be injured. Uh, he, has, he has had the most, many of these knocks, many of these knocks. But it, it's because he's a strong boy. That's why we keep. They keep managing. He is. Him. What's his name? His name yeah. is Oluwa Bukayo Saka. They, they keep managing him. They keep managing him. So Don't lastly, lastly, it. before we round, lastly before we round, let's before we round up. Yes. That's before we round up. Um, the Super Eagles. Let's move back to Super Eagles. Okay. One final question before we move round up. Mm. Are we playing? Enough good football for us to go to, for us, uh, we fans to go to uh, to 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 say we can win the next nations cup. Are we playing enough good football quickly? Let's um, just first of all, I can't say we don't have a coach, we, we don't have, have a coach, team. we only have an interim coach, and uh, we know interim coaches are coaches that we just want to that know for Jere can be a miracles in the sense that. Miracle at the short time. It's not. It's not for a long. Short fix. Just do short fix something. Like yeah, just a short one or two. Just like doing bread and teeth meal. You understand? They're not. Known, they're not known for longer term uh, success. Like Eguavona. Eguavona. It took us the last. Our last Afcon. We went. We played fantastic football in the group stage. We 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 led the group only for us to come out from the yeah. round of sixteen. <laughs> you understand? It was very funny. It was very funny. And he was an interim coach then. So for now, I cannot just, I'll just have to 
big uh, how would I say just maintain my season composure by saying we are playing a moderate football. We're not playing good. We're not playing bad. We're just there. Mm. Yes, I'm. We're not. We're just there. But if Nigeria, where if now if I'm um, if I'm to look Nigeria playing well, is if we can work on our midfield. If we have a very good midfield and ball is moving from our midfield, not from defense to attack. If more if ball can move from our midfield, our midfield is holding the football, holding the ball well. I feel that like we will play a very good football. All right. I feel okay. Okay. Okay, so um, let's um, let's um, let's um, let's say your thoughts on this one out there. We want to know um, what you think about the, the, the style of play of the Super Eagles, uh, the way the Super Eagles are playing. Is it good enough for us to win the Afcon? I've said it. We need to win. This generation have to win the Afcon because if we don't, then it's just um, a waste of um, waste. It's just a waste of um, you know good football and then good players and so on and so forth. So. Okay, let's come over to the MPL4. The MPL4 is, is it keeps getting better and better. As it stands, there's only one, I think there's only one unbeaten team in the MPFL, which is Rivers United. And uh, Rivers United are the only unbeaten team, unbeaten team in the MPFL. The big so-called big boys have lost, Imba have lost, Remo Stars have lost. Uh, in the plot. Many of the big boys. So, so but, um, Rivers United are the only unbeaten team in the MPFL. Our Darling Heartland, um, <laughs> they won their last game. And they won the last game at home and then they drew away, which is also a good result. If you look at if you know what if you know what I'm talking about. And um, of course they'll be coming back home here to play. And we hope that um, they can give us um the, the, the desired results. Hey, in the LPFL, if you win your home games and then draw away or um, you, you are you're sure to stay out of relegation. Um so as it stands out of relegation, which is good, it's very it's it's it's, it's kind of very hot, uh, very hot for looking at um, your club, your team, and then seeing them in the regular, like Manchester United fans, you seeing, seeing your team. Yeah, you don't want to see them. You know, uh, you know, you don't want to see you them. know, do you know, do you know where, do you know, do you know where you know that you, you, you have more problem? You are in Nigeria, mm. supporting a Mayu fan. Yeah, Mayu Western another fan. Mm. Uh, and somehow looking at Atlanta sometimes when they play rubbish football. Mm. But no, I'm talking about rubbish. Atlanta don't play. Atlanta don't play. Atlanta are not. They're, they're playing good football. No, but no, they're no, not getting the results. No, as of that time no, they were playing. No, okay, as of that time. No, if as of last season we were. It was, it was horrible. It was really horrible. That is what I'm saying. It was, it was really very horrible. horrible. So really even horrible. a Nigerian supporting Manchester United and a Atlanta fan and a Atlanta fan. It's, God, it's, it's heartbreaking. I think as a Chelsea fan, I was having some joys, you know. <laughs> well, we're talking. We're talking about the MPFL. So the MPFL, of course, will be back in action on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, midweek, midweek, so many games to look out for um, in, in the midweek, and then um, uh, of course, I, I've always said these things. Now, okay, let's let, let's let's also touch. Let me also touch something that um, came out um, during the weekend. Um, a report was um, a, 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 a communique was sent out to clubs about um, um, you know clubs that do not their stadium do not qualify to host matches, televised matches. Uh, you know, uh, start times are the official. Um, you know, uh, football coverage, um, match um, live coverage of the MPL4. So, um, the center letter and Hartland was not part of that um, listing. I was sad. Just looking at our stadium, we feel, feel like, okay, we've, we, I think we've, we've, actually we've, um, we've done what is needed. Our pitch is all right. The environment is all right. And then um, they said Hartland is not part of it. We'll be playing some of our, we'll play our, our away matches. The last time we played our, our matches at them, Imba. Uh, and then you know how bad it is. You know how bad it is if, you, if your fans are not there during your home games. And then um, we hope that um, the authorities, um, appeal these things uh, or find a way to fix the things that needs to be fixed because <laughs> this team is a young team. This team is a, is a new team. If they can't have the support of their home fans, you know, some of the players, they saw, I saw some of the players, there's one that was, um, I think I was standing here that day where he was um, one of the, one of the, I think it was his sister or something, he was calling, was calling his name, he turned back and was like, you know, maybe that start some good feeling knowing that you're, you, you know, you, the people you love are in the stands ah, yeah, watching you. To you. So we, you know, if you, so if we don't have that here, then it's going to be a whole yeah, lot of yeah, problems for yeah. the existing. So the MPFL, the MPFL um, is, it keeps getting better. Uh, I, I, we like the rules that they are putting in place to ensure that we have good football. We have good football, and then um, aim by the only team like we talked with the discuss last. Aim by the only team in the continental, in the continent, they're playing um, in the CAF Confederations um, Cup, and um, they they've been you know grouped with uh, with them um, some very tough oppositions, familiar oppositions, aim by. And then we know they are capable. We know they are capable. Uh, we are capable. They are three-time champions. Um, they, they, are, they won the won the Champions League back to back. And so we hope that they can go there and do Africa, do Nigeria proud. They are the only Nigerian team in the you know in the continent in the continent. So we hope that they do us proud. So um, if you're an NPFL fan, let us know which club you support and then let us let us know which um which um team actually actually um you know, made you 
and giving you something to talk about. Ikorodu United, Ikorodu, Ikorodu FC, sorry, Ikorodu FC, I want team to look at. They, are, they, 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 they praise them a lot, just like they praise them in Sporting Lagos last time. They praise them a lot for their graphics, for their packaging, their everything. But when it comes to the football, they are, they are, they are a new team also like um, Heartland too. So they are one team I, I, I want to see this season. I want to see them stay in the MPFL this season. So I don't know if you have any other which, which team you that have caught your fancy during um, the course of the MPFL. But now I'm still an observer. I'm still an observer. No team have caught my fantasy apart from <laughs> apart from uh, Heartland. Heartland that like, I'm still making reference to Heartland because Heartland is first of all is the is my home my home team as a homeboy. And uh, comparing to last season, I see major improvements mm. compared to last season. So for now, I'm looking for Heartland to still be causing offsets for a team. I, I need to them to improve more on their mm. games. For now, I'm still observing other teams though. But mm. for now, Heartland, yeah. All right. So quickly, the the Heartland Queens, as long as we round up, the Heartland Queens are currently at them at the Betsy and uh, the Betsy Obaseki. Um, precision tournaments and they are doing us very proud. They've won all of their games, all of their games. They are facing them, um, Bayesa, Bayesa Queens today. I think the game must have, I didn't check, I think the game must have ended now. That's if it doesn't get to extra time, the game must have ended by now. I would, have, I would um, of course, check to know the results of that one. If that's if they started on time, sometimes they have a delayed kickoff. So we hope that um, they get victory in that one and then progress to the semi finals of that competition. Um, we are expecting them to come back with the trophy. Um, uh, last time they played by United at um, that Super Six, they drew them. They play actually played and actually drew by United, by by Angel, sorry, by Queens. Yeah, sorry, by Queens. I keep mixing them. So we hope that they get a good result and then uh, you know do um, do the states proud. And um, of course, um, what else? What else is coming out from the from the? I, I think that's just um, and that's just it. Um, coming coming out from the um, the our local league, our local our local leagues. Yes. So yes. Um, co um, um, congratulations to the Heartland Queens. To Heartland Queens, they are doing us very proud there. Um, new players, new setup, and then um, they are also, uh, you know, playing good football. According to the reports coming from that competition, they are playing good football. They are one of the best teams. They are flawless. They've went through that game wins. They've had four four games and they've won all four of them. All four of them. Tough up with tough oppositions, um, and yes, and it's it's good to see that happening. Um, we hope that when the league starts, they can also do uh, us proud too, because we'll be coming to watch them um, when they play. Yes, um, that's be, that'll be all for the show. That'll be all for the show. Yes. There's no new reports um, coming from um, the Super Eagles, um, you know, camp. There's no new reports coming from them. We hope that um, these whole issues are settled, settled. And as for the internet, uh, for the whole club football international, um, no international break issues. We hope that um, uh, these players would uh, maybe choose wisely. I I do not like the fact where players, um, you know, who celebrate and want to, want to play for their club more than they want to play for their country. I don't like it. I'm, I might be sentimental, but I don't like it. So yes, I would like to hear your thoughts on that too. And then every other thing we have we've talked about, please, please, please leave a comment in the comment section. Hit the follow button if you're just seeing this video for the first time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Hisense and this is Chima Destiny. Destiny. And this is uh, Monday Football Digest. Thank you. Let us graduate. Au revoir.